Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this regular scheduled meeting of the Beaver Creek City Council. May we have a roll call, please? Councilmember Adams. Here. Councilmember Bales. Here. Councilmember Curran. Here. Councilmember Dewar. Here. Councilmember Schwartz. Vice Mayor Garcia. Here. Mayor Stone. Here. Motion to excuse Councilmember Schwartz. Second. I have a motion and a second to excuse Councilmember Schwartz. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. This time I'd like to turn it over to Vice Mayor Garcia for the pledge. Thank you. If you could all please stand for the pledge in a moment after. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if you could all please remain standing for just one moment of today's Unpredictable weather gave us a nice reminder of what happened not too long ago for the Memorial Day tornadoes and just to see how quickly our emergency responders, our officers, our law enforcement, our firefighters, our school districts, everybody kind of sprang into action to make sure our residents, our children, and everybody in the workforce was safe. So if we could just give a quick thank you and remembrance and prayer for everyone who worked effectively today and also those from the May tornado who are still recovering in some areas of the city. Thank you very much. All right, we have an agenda before us. Any uh, changes? Move we approve the agenda, Your Honor. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of the minutes. We'll start with February 13th work session minutes. Anything? Motion. Move to approve the work session minutes of February 13th. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the February 13th work session <coughs> as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Next are the minutes of February 13th for the regular session meeting. Any changes? Move to approve the minutes from February 13th regular meeting. Second. Aye. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the regular meeting on February 13th as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Next on the schedule is pre-scheduled speaker, and it is our own Mr. Pete Landrum. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, Vice Mayor, and Council. Uh, tonight uh, we have some changes that are uh, coming, uh, updated staffing management plan for 2023. I believe we would have uh, titled this 2024 prior, but uh, with some recent changes, uh, we are now accelerating the plan. Uh, with change, you know, uh, change is inevitable, growth is optional, and uh, old ways won't open new doors. So we're trying some uh, new ways, uh, some ways look uh, familiar as in the past, but uh, with some uh, changes to it. So I look forward to uh, some changes. Change is good. So some of this is the resignations and retirements that we have recently had. Um, we just had, uh, you know, we've been working. I worked with the city council this uh, past summer uh, on some succession planning, which was, like I said, already in progress. And we were looking towards 2024 with some retirements that we know we're ready to happen, but uh, unexpectedly, some uh, other changes have necess necessitated the need to um, implement a plan sooner. I do want to state that this plan does not change the services or functions offered or performed. Uh, again, the plan does not change the services or functions offered or performed. Uh, with an additional, one additional staff member of a, an associate engineer, It'll, it'll help improve services, I strongly believe, but it's not changing the mechanics of what services are being offered. So now uh, our Public Administrative Services Director, uh, Mr. Mike Vonnerow, uh, started today was his first day as Washington Township Administrator. So congratulate him. I uh, hope he uh, does very well and he'll represent Washington Township very well. Uh, so with that, uh, his last day was Friday. Our human resource manager uh, is, um, I think, next Monday is officially, but I think Wednesday is her actual last day here. And then we have some 2024 uh, known retirements uh, that were going to happen 
uh, that we already knew about, and that those were the ones that we were going to make a plan. But the two that are now, we weren't expecting necessarily. So, uh, so really, we're having four significant changes that were happening uh, when we all only thought two were. Um, this was, you know, this is hard to see at home. I know that uh, you have this before you, but. Under the uh, Mike Donnero, who just left, the Public Administrative Services Director, this was the table of organization. Uh, of course, as he had engineering, public service, golf, and parks all reporting to him, and everything that's underneath of those is extensive. It w uh, except for the police department, he had the largest single uh, department. And very tough to keep up with all of that, thus the change, especially as we've grown. So the first thing uh, this uh, plan is going to do to update is the engineering division is going to add an associate city engineer. And with the continued growth of managing all the city projects, uh, grants just awarded uh, through MVRPC uh, $8.4 million. We applied for seven grants. We got all seven grants. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> we got them all. That's great. Uh, but with our uh, st staffing, our city engineer, uh, which I'll uh, – tell you a little bit more about that's uh, stepping up to be uh, our right now interim director. Uh, the ARPA funds, that, uh, well, and our, we only have another assistant then at that point in time. So other things besides the grants, ARPA funding, two major stormwater projects we got going on, uh, 675 uh, Grange Hall, uh, that study going on. So much uh, continues to go on, our resurfacing annual program. Uh, and plainly the succession planning of engineering uh, for the division of the engineering uh, in the future, uh, retirements that may be coming up there in the near future. So this is how the engineering division, really the only change is to add an associate city engineer. Uh, was initially again part of 2024 to implement, so before any of the succession planning or the other changes, this I had in mind to bring just because of the sheer volume of grants and projects that we are depending upon millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars on two engineers to manage it, and it's just it's not sustainable. Um, speaking of the grants, uh, this is our engineering. Uh, as you can see, the total amount of grants, grant funding of $117 million since 1997 in grant writing that they've done on our road improvements. And this does include the stormwater that we just received from ARPA as well. But uh, talk about value for your money. Uh, it, it's astounding what they have accomplished, and we thank them. So we want to make sure we support them so we can continue to get this funding. So the biggest change here is the split with the Public uh, Administrative Services Division responsibilities. Again, with the responsibilities under division, which that included, which I already stated, but engineering, golf, parks, uh, and public service. So we're splitting where um, public service basically, it will rename it public services department um, instead of PASD, uh, and they will supervise the public service division and engineering division as direct reports only. Again, with public service, with the addition of our dude solutions, with engineering and public service or work order system, you guys had a sneak preview of the, uh, what they've been doing with the GIS and all the assets and resources that we've been pouring into that system uh, that, you know, used to, used to uh, out of sight, out of mind. Well, that doesn't work really well. I mean, it may do you for a period of time, but we want to identify all the all the assets that we're responsible for, and that actually has uh, did, have done quite nicely uh, in doing so. But with that creates just even more responsibility. The success of the levies, which I admitted, and then of course when you're not only public service but the parks department, a whole new parks, 148-acre uh, park that's coming our way, which we're going to hopefully name tonight. Uh, so all those additional responsibilities has, is just hard to put under one a department director. So public services director, city engineer, uh, will have two divisions, engineering and public services. Uh, the third change uh, was to add an assistant city manager. Uh, this would be, to, it would help in under the growth that has happened uh, to, 
to the PASD position of being spread too thin. So the HR, which I'll talk about HR in a moment, but the HR director will report to the assistant city manager as well as the parks and golf and as well as special projects and duties assigned by the city manager. So he's going to have, uh, she, he, she's going to have plenty of work for, uh, to do with this plus potential growth. So here's how the table of organization uh, would look for the assistant city manager position. Now moving on to the HR, since I mentioned that, this uh, was part of the 2024 changes that are coming up with, uh, with the financial administrative services director. Hey, I, if anything at all, I'm just changing to get away with these big, huge titles. <laughs> the, the FASDA, as we call it, financial administrative uh, services director, will become just a finance director. Uh, with this upgrade to the HR director, um, with the retirement, those duties that the current uh, director takes on for HR will now go to the HR director. Okay, so it's an upgrade from a HR manager to an HR director. Uh, right now, our finance guy, uh, Mr. Casera, does a lot of HR work uh, from uh, dealing with the health insurance, workers' comp, dealing with a union and negotiations and grievances and all kinds of things, dealing with that collective bargaining issues, risk management, and others. So now the HR director will also take on that bigger role of taking those on, which I believe is in the right spot, uh, in my opinion. So the HR service uh, resources director will have a uh, support clerk receptionist downstairs that's already there and a part-time HR assistant, which we are hiring for. This was part of the 2024 budget. We already knew that help is needed. So we're in the process of hiring that position right now. And other changes, again, I mentioned uh, the finance director. These are 2024 changes and the executive t assistant to the city manager uh, as well in 2024 plan to retire. And those are uh, some other changes that would be made to their, um, you know, if anything, our communications department has exploded, and I think you guys have seen good bang for the buck out of the communications and how much we've been doing uh, with that with Katie. And I, I do want to make some of the responsibilities in the executive assistance to help with communications and writing. And, and I need uh, some assistance with things, but I'm very computer lit. So, you know, it's not the old day of kind of assistance that did every single email for you. You know, it just doesn't work that way now. So we're kind of modernized the actual what do we actually need in the city manager's office. And one of those areas is, is in communications. Uh, so the uh, pay grade will be uh, adjusted appropriately. All right, so the finance director, since I touched that, really this is what it looks like. And that is really just the same thing, except HR is no longer there. So uh, that finance director will still manage the IT contract, still have an account clerk, and still have the payroll person and the assistant finance director. So uh, the summary here is basically the public administrative services director will become the public services director slash engineer, while the finance administrative services director will become just a finance director in 2024. And again, that will remove HR and all related uh, duties uh, from HR will be transferred to HR. City engineer, basically where I said city engineer I haven't, if you don't get the hint by that, which I'll mention here in a minute, will become uh, the public services director slash city engineer. Uh, Mr. Mormon is uh, acting interim right now, uh, director. Uh, but this shows the associate city engineer position being added. This is the really true additional position that we're adding that there is a cost to. And I'll get to that here in a moment. The HR manager, as I stated, will become the HR director and take on those additional responsibilities. The exist executive assistant, as we mentioned, there will be some changes there in 2024 as well. And the vacant unfilled assistant city manager that's been vacant, I believe, since about 2008, 2009 was the last significant change where they created the PASDA and FASDA and did some 
uh, combinations. That will uh, be hired as an assistant city manager, uh, and the vacant position will be filled and, again, uh, supervise parks, golf, uh, human resources, and all those things that are underneath that. It's easy to say parks, but parks include cemeteries, parks includes the senior center, the senior center transportation. You know, there's things underneath of each one of those. So by the end of 2024, by the end of 2024, assuming the hiring of additional costs for the associate city engineer, all the other changes that we're talking about are estimated to be cost negligible overall citywide. Let me explain this. You're looking at total salary costs of in excess of $600,000. I'm not saying it's neutral. It may be neutral because my estimates on what I'm going to be able to hire these positions at will depend upon, um, you know, the candidates that I get, the pools, the experience, and so forth. Uh, but uh, right now I have it about even uh, with, with my estimates. If by chance it takes me $5,000, $10,000 or something like that more to get the candidates I want, you know, in the scope of $600,000 in salaries, $5,000 additional, $10,000 additional is negligible. Okay, so that's how I'm defining that. I'm going to try to be my best to be in budget. Uh, so I could say that it was cost neutral. Uh, but you just don't know until you get the pool and the experience and so forth. So I can't make any promises with that, but it, it will be small. If there is an increase, it will be very small. So what's next? Um, just so those that uh, didn't know, we had a work session on this uh, where I presented this already. Uh, I've spoken to each and every individual uh, council member. So th this has been uh, discussed, questions asked. Uh, I just didn't want, didn't want the public uh, to think we're up here and this is the first time anybody has heard this. It was discussed at the last work session. And it's also, again, I individually discuss and receive feedback from each uh, individual council member. Uh, the next council steps is Ordinance Chapter 30, which is simple, a one page. It's a governmental organization. It just li lists at a high level the uh, organization. Um, I'm asking to present that on March 13th, public hearing. It's already been advertised. Uh, approval uh, as an emergency so that we can make these n much needed uh, changes. As you said, as you already know, uh, Mr. Thonner is gone. By the time 13th is here, with, we're without human resources, man even manager at that point in time. Uh, so we do need to expedite these uh, significant uh, openings that we have. Uh, the next step, if that's approved on the 13th, then the approval of the city manager's appointment of public services director on the 13th as well. Uh, I can uh, request council's approval for the city manager's appointment of Jeff Mormon as public services uh, sit, uh, director, city engineer. And uh, assistant city manager position, that would be to, to be determined. We haven't even began to advertise uh, for that position. And that is where we are. I'm open to take any questions. I thank you for your time. If you could repeat one more time the estimated cost neutral with the one exception. Is that correct? With the one exception, a city engineer, and those are the ones, remember, $117 million in grant right. funding that they, they're the ones that rant, write those grants. Uh, a new city engineer to manage all that's going to be we, um, with Mr. Mormon and myself, uh, an associate city engineer should be in the seventy-five to eighty thousand dollar range in salary. Uh, that really, all the other changes are pretty close to. I keep hating to say cost neutral, but it's going to be very close. Yeah. So that is an additional cost, no doubt. Uh, but that is what's driving the additional cost is the additional city engineer, which, again. Um, um, is very much needed to, I mean, we got additional levy funding, which is great, and that we pour most of that into projects. Our ARPA funds, the $5 million, 92% of every dime of it is going into capital and infrastructure. So we are being very, and the rest of it was uh, <coughs> other types of things like the video equipment here. So um, everything we've been responsible for, but there comes to a point where you, you have to have management of 
the, the tools of the infrastructure. You have to have some additional staff not actually performing like filling potholes, although we're doing that in public services, hiring the five additional per the levy uh, that pass. But in this essence, we, we keep having all these projects in the levy pass. You know, they wanted more resurfacing. They wanted more uh, road and street projects, and we're doing that. But in order to keep up with effectively managing those, uh, having an additional city engineer is very much needed. Well, thank you. I just wanted to let the public realize that there right. is, you know, the engineer. And, of course, the engineer is one, the engineering department has extra work right now with all the grants that have been uh, approved for the future. So Seven, seven out loaded. of seven isn't bad, is it? Oh, it's <laughs> That's not. pretty good odds. Oh, it's not. Thank you very much. Anybody else have a point, comment or question? Thanks, Pete. All right, thank you. All right, next on the agenda is ordinances, resolutions, and PUDs. First is ordinance 23-6. Ordinance 23-6 to approve supplemental appropriations and certify additional revenue for fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2023 and ending December 31st, 2023 and to amend Ordinance 22-32. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Mayor and members of City Council. Uh, this is, as Debbie read, uh, Supplemental Appropriations and Certifying Additional Revenue. Uh, you have the detail in front of you, but I'll just recap those really quickly. Uh, we had budgeted $500,000 for the uh, Grange Hall Interchange Study, and we had already had $400,000 coming in from the ODOT uh, as a grant. And we actually applied for a community development grant uh, through Green County Department of Development for $100,000, and we received that money. And so what we'd like to do is certify that additional revenue. Uh, but uh, we uh, realized, too, early on in the process that uh, that amount might not make it for the study itself. So uh, we want to uh, appropriate that funds, too, just so that we have the 600000 in the event that there's an overrun during the study process. So uh, that's the first item. Uh, the opi opioid uh, settlement fund, when we were doing the budget, we weren't sure exactly what we were going to get for that. Uh, we actually got uh, more than we had previously in the previous year, but uh, I didn't put that in the budget, so we need to uh, certify that uh, revenue, uh, the 16314 And the uh, police would like to have that appropriated because they're going to use that for uh, DARE funding, which is allowed under that particular settlement. The golf course, uh, they actually, uh, if you recall, they had a, a lease for their new carts. They also got a beverage cart and uh, f I think it was five utility carts. And uh, we decided to trade in the uh, golf carts on that lease, but held back on the utility vehicles because we knew they were coming later and thought we would just sell those by ourselves. And what we had originally budgeted was $8,000, but the market turned really good for those uh, utility vehicles, and we actually got $19,800 selling it through our Gov Deals uh, process. So uh, with that in mind, uh, the uh, carts that we received uh, didn't have windshields and covers, and we thought it might be a good idea to uh, incorporate those accessories into those utility carts for our workers, for their safety and protection from the sun. And so uh, with that uh, additional 11.8 coming in, uh, the golf course wanted to spend $5,200 to get the add-on roofs and shields, front shields for those vehicles. Uh, so again, what we'd like to do is certify that additional revenue and then use that and appropriate that for that additional safety item for our maintenance workers. Then uh, our miscellaneous uh, trust fund, that's our uh, catch-all fund that uh, we have a lot of uh, different fundings in there. It's not usually a uh, significant amount, but uh, we uh, received money from uh, Anthem a couple of years ago for uh, our wellness program. Uh, we do have a wellness program through Anthem, through the OBC that we use, but we had this money sitting there and we decided to provide an incentive for folks that joined the wellness program. And at the holiday uh, uh, luncheon, we actually gave out an incentive awards for those that were participating in the wellness, again, trying to make it an uh, incentive induced to get more people participating. Our participation level is about 50%. 
and we wanted to get that up a little bit. So we utilized that money. Uh, again, I didn't have that budgeted, so uh, what we'd like to do is appropriate uh, 1680 out of that fund that we had established. It had about $4,000 in it for use for directly for the wellness program and uh, appropriate that for this new internal incentive program that we have set up to give out uh, some incentives at the end of the, each year. So, And then the uh, last item is the Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission. We're updating their uh, bicycle maps, and we're looking for sponsors to lower the cost associated with that. Uh, again, our Bikeway and Non-Motorized Transportation Advisory Committee Bantech uh, had some money sitting in the 750 account uh, that they accumulated from programs that they put in for maintaining, maintaining uh, bicycles and things like that. And they wanted to contribute uh, funds to the update of those bicycle, regional bicycle maps. So they uh, requested that uh, if we could contribute $750 out of that fund that they raised uh, to contribute to updating those uh, uh, pamphlets and again that wasn't in the original budget so we need to appropriate the funds for that uh, that project and again uh, I, I believe they have like two thousand dollars in there so we had plenty of money to cover that uh, out of this fund so with that I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have All right. uh, this is an ordinance so we'll just a second this is an ordinance I want to ask if there's anyone in the audience that would like to address council on this ordinance. Seeing none, we will close the public input and ask council if there's any comments that council would like to make. Anyone? Very good. You run a tight ship, sir. Exactly. <laughs> really nice to get that extra money for the golf course. Yeah. All right. So without further ado, is there a motion? Motion to approve Ordinance 23-6. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve Ordinance 23-6. May we have a roll call, please? This is a single reading ordinance. Council Member Dewar. Yes. Council Member, uh, excuse me, Vice Mayor Garcia. Yes. Council Member Bales. Yes. Council Member Kern. Yes. Council Member Adams. Yes. Mayor Stone. Yes. Next on the agenda is Resolution 23-9. Resolution 23-9, to authorize the application for the Ohio BWC Safety Intervention Grant Program on behalf of the Beaver Creek Public Service Division. Thank you. Yeah, good, good evening, evening, Mayor, members of the City Council. Um, staff recently became aware of a, a grant program through the uh, Bureau of Workers' Compensation where they pay up to 75% of the cost of the purchase of equipment that will, will help prevent injuries and, and such at the Public Service Department. Um, we're proposing the purchase of two pieces of equipment through this grant program, or rather applying for the purchase. One would be a, a hydraulic jackhammer attachment to a track hoe, and the other is a lift, and both of those we think would help prevent injuries. Um, the total cost of the, um, of the purchase would be $14,000, and again, the grant, if successful, would pay for 75% of that cost. Um, just one last thing to add, the, the money is already included in this year's budget, so if we are successful, it wouldn't be any additional funds to the city. So with that, be happy to answer any questions. Very good. Questions? Anyone? No. Do you know the time frame of the grant, or when they're going to award that, or when you might find out? Yeah, I think this summer, and once we, we do get the grant, we have three months, I believe, to get the equipment purchased after we get the grant. Excellent. And just for the public at home, 25% uh, matching grant is, is how it works? It, it is, yes. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. How about a motion? Motion to approve, uh, Your Honor, Resolution 23-9. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve Resolution 23-9. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next is Resolution 23-10. Resolution 23-10, a resolution naming the new 148 acres of parkland along Grange Hall Road in between Shakertown Road and East Patterson Road. Thank you. Ms. Farrell. Good evening. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, so I just want to give a little background before we get to the excitement of naming our new park. Um, just to have like a little background, it seems like this has been going on since last fall. Actually, last January, a whole lot of stuff in between. Um, so again, this was land that was purchased in 2022. Um, there's two different sections. We bought it in kind of two different increments, 100 acres and then 48 acres. Um, all purchased through grant funding through the Ohio Division of Natural Resources um, and our 712 funds, which is fees in lieu of land. Um, as Debbie mentioned, it is um, 148 acres um, along Grangehall Road between Patterson and Shakertown. Um, and then again, back in January of 22 is when we reviewed the park naming policy. Um, under that policy, we have three different methodologies to name a park. One is after um, a subdivision. So when a new subdivision comes in, we accept that parkland will name the park after that subdivision. Um, the other is acquisition through a donation. So again, if somebody was kind enough to give us um, the land or at least 51% more of either funds or land, we allow them to name the park. Um, and the last one is acquisition through a grant or purchase, and then we get community input. So again, we purchased this land through a grant. Um, so we asked for community input. Um, as we put it out there, we just said, hey, here's some different ways that you can come up with a name. Is a geographic location of the facility, unique natural or geographic feature, adjoining subdivision, street or natural feature, um, or any other name befitting the parcel. Um, we ask that the name does not undermine our public confidence in the city's impartiality. Um, a park cannot be named after a person or an organization. I mean, it can't be given a name as an existing school site or public facility. So back in the fall, we put information out in the Dayton Daily News on social media and city website asking, hey, here's our um, park naming policy, um, and we would love to get some names. Um, little did we know, we would receive 243 submissions. Fantastic, um, great problem or challenge to have. Um, so after going through all of those submissions, um, combining all the duplicates and removing nominations that did not fit our criteria, 143 um, different names were sent to Park Board. Um, our Park Board members sent in their top 10 names for compilation. So prior to their meeting, I sent them all 143 names along with the descriptions. Some people wrote in, it's like, hey, I like this name and here's why. Um, so they had a little background. Um, and then just to kind of speed along, Park Board said, hey, listen, here's 143 names that's out there. If you would, um, each Park Board member sent me 10 names back. Um, so I compiled that list um, down to 35. So during their Park Board meeting in December, um, they took those 35 names, um, nominated seven um, to vote on that evening, and we said that we were going to bring no more than four to city council. So in January of this year, uh, four names were recommended to city council. Uh, we had Deerfield Park, Hopewell Park, Shakertown Park, Springhouse Park. Um, this was brought forth in a work session. Uh, we had some great discussions of that, but the question was asked, hey, what were those other three names um, that Park Board put out there? Um, so just last week presented um, the other three names was Apple Valley Park, Rolling Hills Park, and the Groves. So um, after that discussion, we decided, I'm sorry, you decided actually, um, that you would vote on three different names, Deerfield Park, Springhouse, or Shakertown. Pardon? So, after all that, you have three names. Um, certainly, more than welcome if you want, if there's any other discussion, uh, but Mr. Landro has a nice little voting or decision sheet up on the board. Um, if there's no discussion, what I think what, the easiest thing to do, we'll just read the park name. If you're interested, raise your hand. Mr. Landrum will tally up the votes and we'll go through each park. Um, if we have a clear-cut winner, you can do your uh, thing. We'll go through the resolution. If we don't, we can go to round two, take the next top two names. Again, you only get one vote 
only one. So, um, and Mr. Landon will be watching you, so don't try to vote twice. <laughs> Ready? Any dis discussion? You ready to go? We're Just ready. ready. We're ready. A major thank you to the park board and to all the residents, 243 that presented nominations. It's really yeah. wonderful. So it was thank fantastic. You. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So if anybody is interested in Deerfield Park, would you please raise your hands? All right, we have Shakertown Park. And we have Springhouse Park. I think the hands right. have it. <laughs> I think so. Um, yeah, luckily we only have to count to four. So like spring house and then I believe you need to do your motions and resolutions so we can fill in the blanks sounds good all right do I have a motion to officially name our newest and largest park so I move I move to amend resolution 23-10 by inserting spring house park Second. I have a motion and a second to amend resolution 23-10. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now can we have a motion to officially name our brand new park? Move to approve resolution 23-10 as amended. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve resolution 23-10 naming our new park. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? motion carries thank you all right decision items you thought that was tough now wait till we get to this part <laughs> yeah right <laughs> that's right yep and you can let us know when you're ready please but anyway for the public's purpose use uh, this is this next section is where we appoint our board uh, members to our boards and commissions for generally three years terms. Some of them are unexpired shorter terms, but uh, this is something we address every year in February, and so we're going to do it again this year. Are you ready? Uh, okay. All right, so boards and commission appointments. So first, uh, I will ask to for a motion to open nominations for the Planning Commission. I move to open nominations for the Planning Commission Board. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for the Planning Commission. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now may I have nominations, please? Present your nominations. Right. Your Honor, I'd move uh, Nicholas Loftus and, and Jonathan Meyer, or do we, or do they have to be taken separately? Can you have both? Yeah, I don't know why you can't, but that's second. All right. Any further nomination? Second the nomination. Sure. Okay. Close. Oh. Now, we don't actually need a second on the nomination. No. no. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, any further nominations? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations for Planning Commission. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Because there are two seats and two nominations, do I have a motion to appoint? Move to appoint Nicholas Loftus and Jonathan Meyer. Second. For the full term, for the full three-year term. For the full term. Full term. I have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Mr. Loftus and Mr. Meyer to the Planning Commission for a three-year term. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next, I'll ask for a motion to open nominations for Board of Zoning Appeals. Move to open nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for BZA. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nominations, please. I nominate Colin Rust. I nominate Alexander Clunan. I'd like to nominate Michelle Hudnell. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. 
Mr. Dewar, you nominated Mr. Kluner? Yes. Okay. Vice Mayor did uh, I, I, I nominated Colin Rust. Rust. Thank you. Yep. Sorry. Mr. Rust, you're up. Any further nominations? And then Michelle Hudnell was Council Member Railsburg. Okay. Any other nominations? Do I have a motion to close nominations? Motion to close nominations for Board Resort of Appeals. Motion and a second to close nominations for the BZA. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, we have three individuals nominated. We have two seats available. So we are going to do what we <laughs> the fun part so we're gonna everybody gets two votes uh, we're gonna go through and uh, I'll call the name off and uh, you'll get two of the three you can uh, you can vote on so first up with nomination was Debbie who was nominated first Colin Rust. 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 Colin Rust. 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 All in favor of, of uh, appointing Colin Rust, please raise your hand. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. six. All right, six. Okay. All in favor of nominating Alexander Clunan? Cancel. Cancel. Hmm? Type in six. I, I am. Or I'm sure trying. There we go. All in favor all in favor of nominating Alexander or appointing Alexander Clunan, please raise your hand. And all in favor of appointing Michelle Hundle? Hudnell. Hundle. Please raise your hand. One, two. We did somebody not vote? Oh, three, only three. three, three. Only yeah, we have three. three. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't count three that time. I'm sorry. I just missed it. All right, so three. All right, so we're going to uh, take a second round. Colin Rust will not be in the in the uh, ballot this time. We have two individuals uh, to vote on, and we will go in the same order. All in favor of appointing Alexander Clunan. Please raise your hand. Three. Okay. Is there any discussion involved? We can. Well? We can. Three and three. I feel like we're just going to keep going. We, I, I think you so. could be right. <laughs> I mean, we can take the second vote just because we're already in the middle of the second vote, but I think maybe a discussion before the third vote. Yeah, no, the first, yeah let's officially get to yeah. uh, so. Anyway, all in favor of appointing Michelle Hunt. Three. All right. So now, discussion. Who, who wants to? I can tell you why I, I nominated Michelle Hudnell. Uh, she is serving as a zoning administrator in a local township, and she uh, served very closely with the uh, Board of Zoning Appeals in that township. She's a resident of Beaver Creek. Uh, she's a former police officer, and she's um, very organized and competent, and not to take anything away from our incumbent. I, I think they, that he's doing a fantastic job as well. But after reading all of the uh, opportunities for people on inclusion on the Zoning Appeals Board, I thought that uh, I would nominate her. Okay. And I got to comment on the other side, and that's simply that we uh, historically we typically ask our staff uh, how their boards are doing and how they're working well with each other. And uh, and uh, while I do know that there, you know, there are sometimes conflicts with staff and a board member of any board, that in this particular case, these two gen uh, gentlemen. There were, was none that I'm aware of, yeah. and uh, so I, my vote for Alexander is simply on the my position that I think staff is the one that has to work with them, and that staff has the, had the opportunity to work right. with this gentleman, and so I'm giving him the opportunity to stay. 
If I just may, on Randy's not here to ask. Sorry, he's on lovely vacation. So, um, the uh, I double checked with uh, Randy. He had uh, uh, reviewed all the applicants, and uh, as Mayor Stone said, uh, uh, there was no issues with this. This uh, person, uh, Mr. Clunan. Uh, uh, is new to the Board of Appeals since September 2022. They've had several cases and he's performed well. He is a, an attorney by trait, uh, again, from Beaver Creek uh, and so forth. Uh, so that's kind of, you've had the application on him, but uh, there's not been any issues with him since he, uh, he has served. So. That was the other point on my that I forgot to make, and that is simply that he was, he's only a short, he's a short timer. He's really not had a great length of time to prove himself, but staff seems to think that it, uh, he's, he's a good person for the seat. So with that, any further comments? I, I will say I don't think it's always a bad thing to get fresh perspectives. I, I understand, and I, I think Colin Rust is very relatively new as well. Uh, yeah, so I, I think that's... Yeah, I do appreciate when we have people who want to come back because there are oftentimes we sit up here and we don't have enough people to fill these seats and we're grasping at straws hoping someone who picked it last on their list is still willing to serve. Uh, but I do appreciate um, Ms. Hudnell's resume and the different perspectives she could bring to the board as well. Okay. So are we ready for the next vote? <laughs> All right. All in favor of appointing Alexander Clonin. Raise your hand. Okay. All in favor of Michelle Hudnall? One, two, three. All right. So with it, we are without our seventh member. We are not going to make an appointment. That appointment tonight. And so I will ask for a motion to appoint Colin Russ. Move to appoint Colin Russ, Your Honor, to the uh, Board of Zoning Appeals. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Colin Russ to the board. To, uh, the full term on the Board of Zoning Appeals. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And I do want to thank the applicants for the interest, and, uh, and I do know that we do this every year, and some years it's, uh, uh, there are a lot of incumbents that uh, we feel need to stay, and other years where we would like to make some changes. So I hope you will continue to be one way or the other to be involved. Next, so open nomination. I need a, no a motion to open nominations for the. Do you need to close it? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we've already nope. make the appointment. Uh, open nominations for the CRA Housing Council. Moved open nominations for the CRA Housing Council. Second. A motion and a second on the table. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll open not for nominations, please. Nominate Zach Upton. I'll nominate Keith Ayers. Any further nominations? Move, Move to close one. nominations. Yep. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Who, I'm sorry. Who made the motion to close? I did. Vice Mayor. Mm-hmm. A motion and a second to close nominations for the CRA board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have two nominees. We have two seats open. Who wants to make a motion to appoint? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I missed the nominee. I got Councilmember Bales, but I did not get another. Uh, Councilmember Adams. I'm sorry. I did. Zach, Zach Upton. Upton. Zach, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah, it, it takes a minute to click if you guys can kind of watch. You can tell what, where she's at. Oh, we've got to yeah. look up there. I'm she, sorry. She has to click every one, so if you see her off. Or... All right. Well, just slow us down whenever we get yeah. too rowdy. Council Member Adams just talks so soft. I know. <laughs> well, over here it sounds really loud. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. Did we make that motion and approve it? We moved to close. And since there's only I haven't appointed, that's what I'm at. Was that that's what I was asking for? Was a motion to appoint? A move to appoint Keith Ayers and Zach Upton to second. The... <laughs> would you repeat? Would you repeat that, sir? Thank you. 
<laughs> I have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Mr. Ayers and Mr. Upton to the CRA board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next is the Tax Incentive Review Council. Do I have a motion to open nominations? Moved Move to open nominations. Open. Second. second. I have a motion and a second on the floor. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Do I have nominations, please? Your Honor, I nominate uh, Katie uh, Herbert to that uh, Tax Review Council. Do I have further nominations? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations for the Tax Incentive Review Council. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Do I have a motion to appoint? I move to appoint Katie Herbert to the uh, Tax Incentive Review Council for the full term. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Katie Herbert to the Tax Incentive Review Council. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, next is Park Board. One seat, three-year term. Do I have a motion to open? Motion to open nominations? Second. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Nominations, please. Move to nominate Matt Schmidt. Further nominations? Motion to close nominations. Second. Excuse Just a second. Matt Schmidt. Park Board. Oh, what? I'm on the, I'm, excuse me. He's on my list. Like on my list is. as well. And it's, it, I think it's DT. DT. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. You nominated him. I'm sorry, Councilmember Bales. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. We have a motion and a second. Do we need a vote? I'm not ready because I don't know who made the motion. Second to close nomination. I made the Perfect. motion to close. Second. Okay. <clears throat> and all in favor was a. Yeah. All right, I'll make the motion to appoint. I'll second. I have a motion. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion and a second to appoint Matt Schmidt to the park board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Next is the Bikeway Advisory Committee. There are two seats, each full two, three year terms. Do I have a motion to open? Move to open nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Nominations, please. Your Honor, nominate. I nominate uh, Michael Jones and Mary Jackson uh, to the uh, Bicycle Advisory Committee. Other nominations? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Good. I move to appoint Michael Jones and Mary Jackson to the Bike Way Advisory Committee for their full term. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Michael Jones and Mary Jackson to the Bike Way Advisory Committee for full terms. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on, Tree Advisory Board. Two seats, both three year terms. Move to open Tree Advisory Board nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And open now. Take nominations, please. I nominate Jeannie, uh, Jeannie Cunet and Don Shipley. Any further nominations? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion. That was a softy second. That was a soft second. <laughs> I have a second. motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Yep, looks good. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I have a motion to appoint? I make a motion to appoint Jeannie Kinney and Don Shipley. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Jeannie Kent Cooney and Don Shipley to the Tree Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, next at the Youth Development Committee. We're going to break this down. We have uh, six seats. Uh, we're going to break it down into the t term, the years and the term. So we're going to start with the two seats that are two-year terms. I'm sorry, three, 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 three two seats years. that are two-year terms. And, and can, may I real quick explain this? Uh, just explain this. Uh, it's per, <clears throat> per our charter. The incumbents, if an incumbent is appointed, it's automatically a two-year term. Uh, anybody new can be appointed to a one- or two-year term. So what a, we, staff has simply done is broke, broken it down into trying to get it even like a three-and-three three on in that basis. So that's where we are. Mm. Okay. So I need a uh, motion to open nominations for the two-year terms on the Youth Development Committee. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll take nominations for the two-year term seats. Your Honor, I'd uh, nominate uh, Heather Vest, Chris Hadley, and Kendrick Ellerby to two-year term. Any other nominations for the two-year term? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do I have a motion to appoint? I move to appoint Heather Vest, Chris Hadley, and Kendrick Ellerby to two-year terms on the Youth Development Committee. Okay. Can I stop? You sure. Okay. I'm Mike. Microphone. Mike. How would you like me to distinguish this? Because right now I've got. As long as you remember the first three or two, I mean, we'll we'll have to. Can you just go, make a second? Go, go out to the. Let me, yeah. Let me. Can I go out to the side? Okay. Okay. Good. Do you also need to make separate columns for the close and then the overall appointment so we're doing them in two separate groups? We're going to do the whole process here, yeah. Okay. The, uh, okay, so we're at, for the two-year, uh, where are we at? We voted we're, on that. We're, we haven't called to vote yet. No. We have not called to All vote right. yet. So we need a. But you did close. A motion. I motioned to oh. appoint. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's where we Wait stopped. Me. That's where we stopped. To appoint. To appoint some. Okay. So I need a second to appoint. Who did so, you? I mean, sorry. Pete. Those three. Those three that up there that are up there. I made a motion to appoint to the two-year term. Best Hadley and Eller, Ellerby. Second. Okay. Excuse me. You made a motion. I seconded. I thought Mr. Curran. He did. Nominated them. He did. He made okay. the Okay, okay. Um, that doesn't sorry. mean they... I'm up to speed now. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Scroll down, Debbie. To okay. The, to the appoint. There you go. Motion to appoint. That's been... Mr. Bales and Mr. Adams. Correct. Now, just use the other side to type in when we go through the other three members to close and... Okay. Close. Just, just type their name in. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So I have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Heather Vest, Chris Hadley, and Kendrick Ellerby to the two-year term seats on the Youth Development Committee. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. We're going to repeat ourselves for the one-year term, so I need a motion to open nominations. 
I moved open nomination. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, Councilman Bowen. I overlapped you. Move to open nominations for the one year term to the Youth Development Committee. Okay. Second. I have a motion and a second on the so table. Same. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I will take accept nominations for the one year, three one year terms uh, for the Youth Development Committee. I will motion uh, to nominate Sierra Peacock, Terry Dalton, and Sarah Hamilton to the one year term. Good second that. Oh, that's not, we're not closed yet. Uh, we're not, he's, those are the nominations. Any further nominations? Motion to close nominations. Okay. I have a second to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations for the one year terms on the Youth Development Committee. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do it now. Are you ready for us to appoint? Mm -hmm. All right, do I have a motion to appoint? I move to appoint Sierra Peacock, Terry Dalton, and Sarah Hamilton to the one-year term. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Sarah Peacock, Sierra Peacock, Terry Dalton, and Sarah Hamilton to the one-year terms on the Youth Development Committee. Oh, my gosh. It's a mouthful. Uh -huh. All in favor <laughs> say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we're going to move on to the Environmental Advisory Board, and we're going to break that down as well. Actually, it'll be three different sections. We have two three-year terms, one two-year unexpired term, and one one-year unexpired term. Again. <laughs> Move to open nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for the Environmental Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 And I'm including in that motion for the three-year term? Yes. yes. Motion to act. Okay. All in favor again? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, I will accept nominations for the three-year terms. I make a nomination for John Kerner and Edward Bogdan to a three-year term. Move to Move. close nomination. Second. Was anybody about to make a nomination real quick? No? Okay. I have a motion and a second to close nominations for the two three-year terms on the Environmental Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now do I have a motion to appoint? Move to appoint John Kerner and Edward Bogdan to the three-year term on the Environmental Advisory Board. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint John Corner and Edward Bogdan to the uh, three-year terms on the Environmental Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, I need to open a motion to open nominations for the two-year term. Move to open nominations for the two-year term. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for the two-year term on the Environmental Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Nominations, please. Move to nominate Bryant Martin. Second. Approved Any further David. nominations? I nominate Wes. Oh, no, only No, that's first. later. Any other nominations for the two-year term? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 There's one nominee, one seat. Do I have a motion to appoint Brian Martin to the two-year unexpired term? So moved. Second. second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Brian Martin to the two-year term. I know. I'll give her a break uh, in her second. Yeah. It's, who, clo who closed when it, you seconded? It was the same. So I closed, and then Councilmember Adams seconded, Adams, okay. and then Councilmember Bales motion to appoint, and then Councilmember Adams seconded. So it's the same for the for both. Trying to make it easy. Trying to make it easy. Thank you. I'll try. Only you remember it. That's all you gotta do. All right. So there's a vote on the t oh, floor is open for the vote. I'm. All in favor of the, the motion to appoint, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
Now, we have a one-year term. There's one seat open on the Environmental Advisory Board. All, we need a motion to open nominations. Move to open nominations for the one-year appointment. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for the one-year unexpired term. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll accept nominations, please. Your Honor, I'd move Wes uh, Eversole for a one-year unexpired term. Any other nominations? Move to close nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll ask for a motion to appoint, since I'm not getting a look from the Okay. Don't good? slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a motion? Do I have a motion to appoint? A uh, motion to appoint Wes Eversole to the Environmental Advisory Board for one year term. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint Mr. Eversole to a one year term on the Environmental Advisory Board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Texas Personnel Board. Uh, do I have a motion to open? Move to open nominations. Second. I have a motion and a second to open nominations for the personnel board. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll accept nominations, please. I nominate Chris Williams. Any further nominations? I nominate Craig Kegar. Any further nominations? Is there a motion to close nominations? Motion to close nominations, personnel board. Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations for the Can personnel. Can you with me for a second? Um, for some reason, I cannot get Mr. Adams has disappeared. Does this ever beat? It's not. I'm just curious. That's why I said it's not going to, it's not on the list, remember? So go to the right and just type it in on the right. Yep, there you go. Okay. Motion to close. Move to close nominations. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there a motion to appoint? Oops, no, we don't can appoint. We have two nominees. We have Craig Kiger and Mr. Chris Williams. And the order that they were nominated is the order we will go in. Anybody uh, have comment before we start? I don't know. I, I nominate Chris because he's been active in the city for a long time. He's a retired police officer here, and uh, he's still active with the schools and, and really active with uh, what's going on. Okay. I nominated uh, Mr. Kegar just be, because he's an incumbent. Also, he is an active member of the Optimist Club and um, has enjoyed serving on this committee for many years. All right. Uh, all in favor, are you ready for the vote? All in favor of uh, Mr. Williams, please raise your hand. One, two, three. All in favor of Mr. Geiger. Per our rules, do we have to go through three votes, or can we table this until our council member Schwartz returns? I would I would make a request that we table this instead of doing another few rounds of okay, fine. Yeah, we did not table the no, other one. We just we said it was enough. Oh, okay. okay. So instead of going through the three votes, can we just do you think we could just move yeah, right unless, to if, if, unless anybody wants to have another vote. Anybody want to have another another vote, vote Your Honor? Take another vote? Okay. That generally suggests something. So I'll ask again. Uh, Mr. Chris Williams, all in favor? One, two. Uh, Mr. Kiger? 
One, two, three, four. All right. All right, do I have a motion to appoint uh, Mr. Kager? Move to, go ahead. You made the appointment, please. Motion to appoint Mr. Kiger to the personnel board for a full term. Second. I have a motion and a second to appoint, appoint Mr. Kiger to the personnel board. All in favor say aye. All right. aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion carries. The last one on the list is the impact fee board, and it is something that staff is not recommending that we fill. It's not something that is uh, met in uh, <laughs> 10, 15 years probably, but uh, uh, and it may be longer than that. But and impact fees are not the uh, as common as far as the requests anymore. So unless somebody else has anything to, any input on that, we will not make an appointment to the impact fee board. Anyone? Officially tabled? Just for the record, I think it would be bad. The, the table, the one pending, you have one at this point now, look like it was going to be two, but it looks like just table it to really a date certain, which is when um, we don't council member. No, this the charged. impact fee. We don't want to. We don't want to. No, no, I'm certain. talking about tabling the one. Oh, the one want. previous. Yeah, we just I'd table to a date certain, and it's when our seventh member returns. So we don't know that date. No, to a to a date to be determined. <laughs> so not a date certain. <laughs> no, a date certain is when she returns, but I can't tell you when that date is. You're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, good point, though. Do I have a mo Let's see. Let's go back to which one that was. Yeah, the Board of Zoning Appeals. Good. Do I have a motion to table the final appointment to the Board of Zoning Appeals? Move to table final appointment of Board of Zoning Appeals. Second. Second. But you want a caveat in there until the 7th. Can you add that to your motion? I move to table the Board of Zoning Appeals appointment until we have seven full, full council full members. Second. All right. I have a motion and a second to table the appointment to the uh, BZA until there's a full board, uh, full seven members of the council present. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. We don't need to do anything on the, uh, we're not wanting to table the impact fee because that's not, no. we're not going to do anything with that. Okay. Next on the agenda is council appointments to local agencies. And we've all uh, played our role in uh, attending different uh, uh, and representing the city at different organizations and their meetings. Uh, has everybody had a chance to review the, this is the current list? Mm -hmm. Are there, requested for changes or are there people that wish to be changed uh, where do you want to go well uh, no that's fine <laughs> okay but the fourth uh, of july committee is uh, councilmember schwartz is primary and uh, mr adams is uh, secondary any in discussion on that or they want to you want to keep that i'd like to stay i think she does too okay Another board is the Green Cats board. Uh, the primary is Councilman Adams, and the secondary is Councilman Dewar. Uh, do you wish to continue in those roles? Do you wish to switch those roles? Do you wish to get out altogether? I go to about one meeting a quarter with them, so it's... Uh... All right. Uh, another uh, organization is the Green County Family and Children First Council. Currently, the primary is Councilmember Curran, and secondary is Councilmember, or the Vice, or no, Councilmember Schwartz. Uh, any comment? Every good? meeting's a holiday, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you look at it that way. Uh, Green County Water Advisory Task Force. Uh, the primary currently is Councilmember Bales, and the secondary is Councilmember Dewar. Anything want to change? I appreciate that committee. 
Uh, next is Greater Dayton Mayors and Managers, and uh, I am the primary, and uh, Vice Mayor Garcia is the secondary. Uh, we, that one should stay the same. There's no reason to change that one. Miami Valley Regional Planning Commission. Uh, currently, the primary is uh, the Vice Mayor Garcia, and secondary is Council Member Bales. Any uh -huh. I, I, I enjoy that committee. I would like to stay on it, but I would also, I'd also like to make the offer, Councilmember Dewars. I know notice that you are not primary on any of these. Is there one that you would pref would you like to be primary on one? I'd be happy to switch you. I enjoy the board, but I do notice that you're you're just secondary on a few of these, and I want you to have the opportunity to serve in another capacity if you choose. I, I certainly appreciate it. Um, the, the time for MVRPC doesn't work okay. for me very nope. well, but I, I certainly appreciate the offer. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to stay, and Councilmember Bales has picked me up a couple times when I, I had conflicts, so I think it works for us if that's good for the board. It's okay. good with me. All right, I'll leave that one. Uh, Little Miami River, uh, primary is uh, Councilmember Bales, and secondary is Councilmember Curran. Any discussion? Is that Hope Taft? Yes, sir. Okay. Stay. I'm, it's fine. Ohio me. Mayor's Alliance, uh, again, that's uh, pretty much the mayor has to be the primary, vice mayor secondary. Uh, you're good with that? Sure. All right. Beaver Creek Youth Development Committee, uh, primary is Councilmember Adams, and secondary is Councilmember Garcia. Uh, your plate still open enough to handle that? I'm happy to swap out someone if anyone would like to take Would anybody that. like to be part of the uh, Beaver Creek Youth Development Committee? It's a, uh, I would think that would be a very rewarding position. I know I Don enjoy it. enjoyed it. I enjoyed most of the meetings, so it's, uh, it's worked and, out really uh, like well. like they were out working at the Senior Center on Sunday for the uh, yeah, super. Very nice. breakfast. I mean, it's a great little group of young people that change every year or so. To, I'm also happy to stay on it as well. Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody that would like to be secondary on that one? In that case, we'll keep it as it is. Uh, the golf committee. And the, uh, the golf committee currently is, a, uh, is, a, is an appointment that is a li liaison from council to the committee that was, I think, established just right after the golf, not long after the golf course was built. Uh, to get input from the members the, and the residents that first bought uh, out there. And uh, it's, but anyway, uh, the golf committee currently has the primary of council member Bales and secondary council member Dewar. Any comments or, on that? Mm -hmm. Are we good? Uh, so. We will, I will entertain a motion if we want to, is just to maintain the uh, same appointments as we just finished in the past year. Move, move to maintain the present appointments, Your Honor. Second. second. I have a motion and a second <coughs> to continue the appointments of the boards and commissions as previously existed. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Yeah, they did. All right. Got to help Debbie out as much as we can after that. <laughs> All right, next on the agenda is council time. Councilman Curran, would you like to lead us off? You sit over there. Yeah, I just have a few items, Your Honor. I, I first of all want to recognize uh, uh, Officer Spicer, uh, who's retiring after 35 years with the police department. and. Uh, has a long and uh, noble career with the police department who wish him the very best uh, in his uh, future endeavors. Also, our HR uh, person will be leaving here. I think there's a social on Wednesday for her. What is that, manager? Between 1.30 and 3, I think, they're having a, to thank her for her service. Also, uh, uh, Project Emerge uh, made a nice presentation at our Rotary, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful project. And uh, it was presented uh, to us uh, that uh, the challenges that they have in trying to bring men and women uh, out of uh, uh, problems that they've had with drugs, et cetera, and uh, it really is going to be a fantastic project asking for help from the community and 
and different uh, different parts of the uh, of our county and region. Uh, also, I, I was uh, visiting the Day of Caring at Senior Citizen, which the mayor just mentioned. They had a nice turnout. Uh, of course, all the proceeds there go for the homeless, and it was really nice to see the uh, turnout and the involvement of the staff, and most importantly, involvement of the youth board, which has been mentioned this evening, and serving the meals and uh, helping out. It was really great to be there. Thank you. Thank you. That's Member Bales. Well, thank you, and welcome back, Mayor Stone. We're glad to have you back at the uh, yeah. microphone tonight. Um, I also, like uh, we talked about in our opening uh, prayer and message, was glad to see that we all made it through the uh, tumultuous weather this afternoon. Um, I'd like to congratulate our high school swim team and high school hockey team for their fanta uh, fantastic effort uh, during their state uh, championship run. Um, both gave uh, really valiant efforts and uh, congratulate, uh, congratulations to them. And then uh, finally, I was just wanted to make a comment. I was on the city's website uh, this afternoon um, searching for p potential spring and summer uh, opportunities for my kids. And I was really happy to see there, there are, I mean, dozens and dozens of opportunities for children in our community to... Uh, uh, engage in this spring and summer and so if any uh, parents are looking for activities for their kids I just encourage you to go to our website and uh, and check it out um, there's plenty to do so that's all I've got thank you thank you Council Member Dewar thank you mayor uh, appreciate your opening comments vice mayor Garcia um, as we approach the fourth anniversary of the Memorial Day tornadoes, uh, thank you for keeping that in the minds, and just thank you for all the first responders as well. Uh, in particular, I'd like to thank the bus drivers because they, had, uh, they were delayed significantly today uh, and doing extra work to get our uh, young students home. So a big, big shout out to the bus drivers. There's a lot uh, to be thankful for and a great group that, that really do take care of uh, our students. I had the opportunity to attend a, a Council on Foreign Affairs, Foreign Relations uh, webinar. Uh, it piqued my interest because it was uh, with the State Department and it had uh, a Department of uh, Subnational Diplomacy. And given our connections to wright Patterson Air Force Base, given the businesses uh, in our community, I thought it was kind of interesting that the State Department uh, has connections to local and state governments. And so that was led by Ambassador Nina Hashigian. Uh, and I thought uh, it, it gave me a number of points should uh, those in our community be looking for uh, to connect bus to businesses abroad or just uh, have delegations. There's a specific part of the State Department that can help with that. So something to file away. Uh, but thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Councilmember Adams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I was able to attend the ribbon cutting at the Wright Group on North Fairfield. It's a new uh, real estate uh, property management company. They actually moved here from Fairborn, so it's, uh, it was nice to go to that. Uh, I'm looking forward, to, not really looking forward to Officer Spicer's retirement, uh, but uh, he's been with us a long time. 33 years is a long time spent with one department, and uh, he's having, a, I think, a going away thing on Friday afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. I was able to attend the Blue Star Families event at Hope Hotel on Saturday. That's uh, this lady, uh, Dr. Maples, I think is her name, uh, started this three years ago, the local chapter. It, it really does assist the uh, service members' families when they're deployed. And she's done a lot of really good work with them, and uh, uh, it was a real honor to be involved with that. And I was also honored to represent Mayor Stone yesterday at the uh, Tecumseh Boy Scout, uh, Eagle Scout presentation. Tecumseh Council had 48 Eagle Scouts presented yesterday, which is amazing. Ten of those were from Beaver Creek. Wow. So that's a, that's a huge thing for these kids. Uh, that's, we've got some really good quality boys and girls out there that uh, accomplished a lot. And then Mayor Stone and I attended the Dayton Realtor, Area Realtors Southern Ohio Global Alliance meeting this morning, uh, where they gave us some information on... Uh, how they're, what they're doing to attract 
businesses from overseas to come to Dayton uh, and uh, or this general area. They've got a 15 uh, county area that they work with and some of the things how we could work together with them here in Beaver Creek. So, and that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Vice Mayor Garcia. Yes, thank you. Also, welcome back. Usually you are on vacation during this meeting. Like you, you misjudged those dates this year. I was, I was hoping you year. would just go ahead and do it. Yeah, you, you, you yeah. definitely yeah. Uh, mistimed that, but it's good to have you back. Um, thank you to all the volunteers. I know the board appointment process sometimes can be strenuous and lengthy, and technology doesn't always work the way we want it to, but we are incredibly grateful for all the volunteers in this community, and I said it last week as well, during or two weeks ago during our proclamation, is that our, our community would not run as well as it does without our volunteers. So thank you to everyone who continues to volunteer and help out on those boards. Uh, this Sunday, Marisone and I will be attending an event for the Girl Scouts for their Gold Award, Gold Award recipients. So it's a great event that they have annually, so we'll hope to have those Girl Scouts in in a few weeks after that, but looking forward to having that on Sunday. And then uh, this coming week, this Thursday, I'll have our monthly MVRPC meeting, so I'll follow up in a few weeks with you and let you know how we're doing from that. And that's about it for me. All right, very good. And I guess it's my turn, and as you've already heard, I've been on vacation, so I have not been uh, out and about for a couple weeks. And uh, it's, it was a good vacation, and I appreciate uh, everything running smooth. Uh, here at home so I, that while you're on vacation you don't have to worry about that sort of thing so I had a good time and uh, uh, as uh, Councilmember Adams mentioned it started off bright and early this morning uh, and I even had to call uh, uh, the chamber to make sure that meeting was still on uh, but no we got things rolling back in the I'm back in the saddle again for for a while so Thanks to, to everyone, and thanks to this community for sit, being such a good community. All right, City Manager. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as uh, mentioned, uh, retirement of uh, Officer James Spicer after 33 years. Uh, congratulate him. Uh, 1989, wow. Uh, so congratulations and happy retire, uh, retirement to Jim. It's, uh, he's been an awesome uh, officer for us. Uh, street resurfacing and curb replacement program, the 2023 version is out there. Uh, we've dedicated two and a half million dollars uh, to this. It's only made possible. Uh, again, though, I will say the cost has went up uh, per ton of asphalt uh, has increased again. Uh, so we're able to do 8.54 center line miles as we know it right now. We hope that you know uh, a lot has to take uh, into consideration when we're. Uh, re resurfacing of how thick it has to be on in certain uh, places so we uh, usually have to wrap up our primary streets before we can decide how much funding we have to go on to secondary streets but uh, more information uh, can be found either by calling the engineering division at 427-5513 or you can see the list of the streets and find out more about the uh, program by visiting our website beavercreekohio.gov slash engineering and on that page you will see the resurfacing uh, program uh, uh, button to push that to find out all the information you could possibly want make a difference by volunteering this was mentioned but we we have a lot of volunteers uh, uh, needed about this uh, we operate on volunteers our senior center transportation program is one of them that really operates on this a uh, wonderful bunch of volunteers a program helps to address senior mobility issues in the area drivers escort seniors to medical appointments grocery stores and other uh, local activities drivers do not need a special license just a desire to help so it's not a CDL needed uh, as many might think our parks department we have a group looking for volunteer opportunity for this always uh, if you have a group uh, wants to do mulch or do a special project uh, cities uh, parks are always looking for volunteers to help clean up playgrounds and spread mulch and for additional information uh, you can contact the parks directly 427-5514 or the website beavercreekohio.gov slash volunteer for more information uh, as mentioned we are hiring uh, as the presentation that I presented earlier we have a human services director position open police officers were continuing to recruit uh, human resource specialists part-time and many seasonal positions uh, on our website you'll see beavercreekohio.gov slash jobs for that but I wanted to go on here to other seasonal 
communication student in, internship, code enforcement internship. This is awesome for those interns to find out how government works, to learn how to operate uh, with residents, uh, uh, citizens. Uh, th this is a good, if you have any kind of, uh, uh, you, where you're desiring uh, to work with in public service, this is an aw awesome opportunity to find out uh, how government works. And we're, we're always willing to share uh, that information and get you some experience. Uh, all, the, all the way through uh, more seasonal park student internship, seasonal sports management internship. Again, uh, beavercreekohio.gov slash jobs is where all those can be found. And I do have a video, if uh, this will work here. <laughs> one of the camp directors for the City of Beaver Creek's uh, Summer Day Camp. Hi, I'm Amanda French and I'm a summer camp counselor. This is my second year here at Beaver Creek being a summer camp counselor and I came back from last year because I loved it so much. It is my first year at uh, any summer camp and it's been great. I came to this camp for like two or three years as a camper and now I'm here as a camp counselor because I had a great time and I want to help them have the great time I did. We do games, crafts, we also have a hiking trail, just a wide variety of games and activities and crafts for them. So every Wednesday we go on a field trip, we've gone to a lot of cool places, we've been to two water parks, Young's Dairy, had some ice cream, it's always really fun and they look forward to the field trips too. You can really, really tell that they're having the time of their lives. It makes me feel good that I know we get to give them a good summer. To come out here and hang out with a bunch of kids, make memories for them, I mean, I got all of this today because... <laughs> because they really enjoy their time here and you get to connect with them. It really has been a great experience to you know, have something to do all summer and also to be able to help develop and support these kids' lives. When you're playing these games and doing these crafts, I feel like I'm getting paid to have fun sometimes. And it's just a loads of fun with them. I've made some new friends. A lot of the staff I've become really close with and we'll definitely continue to be in touch. I would say this is the perfect job for someone who loves kids, who loves being outdoors and having fun, um, and who just wants to have an all-around great summer. If they are energetic, if they love kids, and just want to be able to act like a kid again. If you have any desire to work with kids or anything, do it. This is great. Also looks good on a resume. It's <laughs> the most fun summer I think I've ever had. There's no job I'd rather have. I, I'm planning on coming back. There you go. Very good. Best commercial you can make right there. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll be playing that on our Access can, cha, channel and probably on social media as well. Uh, good job, Katie, on creating that. She saw foresight on that last year to make those videos to promote it for this year. Uh, camp counselors, it, it is a lot of fun like you see, but we couldn't hire enough. We had to turn away children because we did not have enough counselors. Uh, it's always booked and always in demand. So if we can hire more camp counselors, we can have more uh, children come to the camps. Uh, but right now we're, we'll be restricted based on uh, numbers. It's a numbers game for sure. And that is all I had tonight. Well, thank you. Thank you. Before we move on to citizen comments, I want to back up a minute and just express my appreciation for you standing in for me while I was gone. No, no uh, but uh, I just knew I forgot to say thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. At this time on the agenda is citizen comment. If there's anyone here tonight that would like to address council on any issue at all, please come forward. <laughs> Don't all sit there at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seeing none, we will move on. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move motion to adjourn, adjourn, Your Honor. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Everybody want to aye. do that. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. <laughs>